My name is Chris Gallagher Stone, and I'm a surf coach. Uh, my name is David Riddle. I'm one of the many Volcom coaches. My name is Reynos Hayes. I'm the coach and team manager for Billabong here in Hawaii. Coaching and uh, support systems are all the norm in surfing today. And that's been a long road traveled, which is a little bit silly because that exists in every other sport. It just took surfing a long time to come around to it. Yeah, well, a surf coach can be a lot of things. For me, the most fun, the most tangible sort of thing was the technique side of stuff. So it'd be like a swing coach for golf or for tennis. I break down video with different clients and different athletes and uh, try to help them surf better. My coaching technique goes to beyond let's talk before heats because I'd say 90% of these kids come and stay at my house with me and my wife from the time they're 10 and 12 years old. So they get to know me as a person and they learn early about the whole no-nonsense approach that I have with them in the surfing thing now. It's not a little kid game at the beach. It turns into a 24-hour a day thing. My job is to bring out the very best in each of these guys that I can and help them to achieve what they don't think they're capable of. By far the most important thing to me has been that the kids turn out to be good human beings because that's what it does take these days. A full package of being the good guy, having a good personality, having a great work ethic, really applying yourself, and being talented on top of it all in order to make it. The people that I've coached, the main people were the Hobgoods. And then through them and a lot of their connections, I worked with the Godowskis brothers, um, Nate Yeomans, I worked with Josh Kerr, Taylor Knox, tons of juniors, tons of amateurs, like hundreds of people really in the end. And that's, uh, that's sort of the fun part. You get to really touch a lot of, a lot of people surfing in that way, so it's cool. Well, I've been lucky enough to coach some guys that made it all the way to the top, like Andy Irons, Bruce Irons. And I've worked with Coco Ho and Dusty Payne and Emai Kalani DeVault. Some of the others that I've had an opportunity to be involved with, Poncho Sullivan, helping him to qualify for the World Championship Tour, Ian Walsh, Joel Centeo, and Keiko Bacalso. The latest guys that I'm working with and have a lot of faith in are uh, the Moniz brothers. My relationship with Reynos is really good. Um, it's pretty much like a second dad, honestly. At Holly Event Sunset, these events are pretty crucial, and he knows he's a lot of experience up there, so it's good to have him out there in the lineup, catting for us and giving us a breakdown and letting us know what's going on. Sunset as a venue is a bit more specialized than some of the other venues on the WQS Tour. It has a lot of different looks and a lot of different sizes. The other is, it's a very unique event in the fact that they have caddies, and myself, being their caddy, I get to be their coach in the water, wave for wave. It makes for a large difference. The guy doesn't get a chance to second guess himself if I have my say in it. And everyone that comes from all over the world right now on our team, they know that they can lean on me and bots and we're gonna be at the event all day and we know these places really well, Sunset and Holly even, and Pipe to. You know, we've coached a few heats here in our days and had some success and and we're willing to help anyone who rides for us. Yeah, the technique coaching, we go to the beach and we just film them serving. I don't say anything. I want all their mistakes to be right there, nothing in their head. I tell them to just surf for five. Starts off basic and then kind of goes and evolves from there. And it's the best coaching tool ever because there's moments where they look at it and they see what they did themselves. They can be their best own best critic. The confidence comes from there and taking that freaky good great surfing and putting that in a heat and building their confidence is, is the route. My best feeling is when they're behind in a heat and they come from behind because of all these things we've instilled about confidence and comfort and the ability to know that when that moment comes even if it's with one second left you know it feels good for them but that feels good for me as well. Surfing is an incredibly detailed, incredibly difficult sport to master. If you just take all the, you know, all the variables with the boards and the ocean and the fitness and the technique and the mindset and put all that together, it's like, man, it could fill up an encyclopedia probably. You know, to do something when you get handed a check and a smile at the same time, that's pretty cool. To be able to have influenced so many kids, and whether they become a professional surfer or not, it's improved you know, their enjoyment level in the ocean, and people get pretty happy to surf better, like we all do. I enjoy being part of the kids' lives as they go on this journey, 
I love to see success. Hopefully I can make a difference in their lives and be that positive reinforcement that I think everybody needs.